we present a method for effective replays and summarization of virtual experiences. Using head tracked data from a VR system, we can create a replay of activity taking place in a virtual environment. Unfortunately, this data is filled with unnatural and disorienting movements that can be jarring to viewers of the replay. Traditional video stabilization techniques can mitigate some of these effects. There are degenerate cases, however. Video stabilization can produce an intolerably narrow field of view. Camera path filtering techniques can remove high frequency jitter for a more natural movement. The degenerate case here is the loss of observation information. In this example, it's no longer clear that the viewer glanced at the painting on the wall. Our method creates an easy to watch path that preserves viewer observations. In this example, our method makes it clear that the viewer looked at both the chair and the painting. Here our method eliminates camera jitter and creates a smooth pan from one view to the next. Our method's goal is to make a new path that conveys the content of the original experience. Here's an original unfiltered path containing 1400 viewpoints. The camera path filtering result, while smooth, doesn't show all of the items seen in the original. We'll now use our method a novel, content-dependent metric used to encapsulate a series of views. We then use these novel viewpoints to synthesize a new camera path that conveys the content of the original. Our visualization includes a projection of the original view, shown as a virtual headlamp. This lets us see the original observations without the erratic motion. Automatic path correction removes discrepancies in the synthesized path. Here we see the original, unfiltered, head-tracked data. Here's its corresponding path. This initial synthesized result moves in a wide arc that diverges significantly from the original observations. Our method detects this rare condition and adds viewpoints from the original path. This first try doesn't completely solve the problem but repeating the process further conforms the synthesized path as needed. In general, auto-path correction fixes these infrequent discrepancies in one to two iterations. Our method also improves replays for different types of virtual scenarios. Here, a researcher is walking around a cellulose molecule. The original viewpoints create an unwatchable replay, and the camera path filtering while smooth offers little insight. Our method results in a smooth orbit as the researcher walks around the molecule. Here a user explores an open environment. Our method produces cinematic pans from this wandering traversal. We can use the synthesized paths to create high quality renderings. We loaded this scene into Blender attached the camera to the synthesized path, and animated a light source to follow the original path. This pairs our effective replay generation methods with state-of-the-art rendering capabilities. This has been a presentation of our methods for generating effective replays and summarization of virtual experiences. Thank you for watching.